Among all the other modifications I've made to my Prius camper thing, this hitch-mounted cargo tray is one of my favorites. It allows me to carry my bicycle, a full-size chair, and a bunch of other gear in a locked box. I chose a cargo tray instead of a roof box or a bike rack because it doesn't hurt the gas mileage, and because I could customize it. Here's how I set it up. It starts with a Reese one and a quarter inch tow hitch that mounts in place of the Prius's tow hooks. I made a video on it a while back if you're interested. That's connected to a Kurt 48 by 20 inch cargo tray with a slight rise in the mounting shank. Here's how you assemble it. The instructions were pretty easy to follow. I attach it with a locking hitch pin. Then I have an aluminum truck toolbox mounted to the end of the tray using some bolts and washers that fit through the mesh on the bottom of the tray. This box has a key lock and is about 39 by 13 by 10 inches. It's not a perfect fit for the tray, but it's the best fit I could find. Up closer to the car, I have these two cargo rack bike stands that are positioned to fit my small e-bike. Justin helped me cut them to fit just right. Sheesh. To attach the bike, I use a ratcheting strap, a waterproof cover, and a few bungees to keep things steady. I also use a seven foot locking cable to lock the bike to the car. Between the box and the bike, I store my chair using a bungee and a small bike lock. And finally, along the edges of the tray and the back of the box, I added some reflective tape for increased visibility. The hitch is only rated to hold 200 pounds, and my bike, the tray, and the box fill up most of that capacity, so I try to keep lighter weight items in the box, like shoes and my camping gear. When it's fully loaded, it causes some sag in the rear suspension. I had problems with scraping on steep inclines, so I added a 40 millimeter lift kit to the back, and I haven't scraped since. If you don't want to do this though, you'll be fine. I drove about 5,000 miles before the lift kit, and really only scraped a handful of times. It never did any serious damage either. Another thing to consider is that it might block your backup camera. I moved mine up to see over the bike. On the bright side though, the tray doesn't block the license plate or the brake lights, and the box serves as a nice table too. Overall, I'm really happy with the setup. It's been really useful, and I'm really glad I can bring my bike around and have that extra storage. This setup is really specific to my needs, but I hope this was informative and or helpful to anyone considering it. If I didn't have the bike, I would have just gotten a large cargo box and bolted it down. Anyways, that's about it. Check out my other videos if you're in the mood. Please subscribe and peace. Wasn't that so nice of Justin to come help? How nice of him.